Claire. First of all, congratulations. What is this, what is signing with the Victoria Harbor Cats feel like? What does it mean to you? Oh, it's it's awesome. Thanks thanks for having me. It's a uh, it's a great opportunity for myself and obviously uh, any girl playing baseball. Is this something that you've dreamed of since being a young girl? Something like this? Uh, well, my my ultimate dream when I was younger was to make the MLB, but I definitely, as I grew older, I didn't think that I'd get an opportunity like this. And I think you uh, once told your mom that you uh, wanted to play for the MLB. What was the reaction? Uh, yeah, I did. Obviously, I was like five years old, so mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure a lot of little kids say that as well, but. I think it was more unrealistic for myself just because I am a girl. But you so, didn't and you but you didn't listen to that and I know your mom became really encouraging uh throughout yeah. uh, later on, right? So tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, uh I, I this was the sport I wanted to play since I was 5. I mm -hmm. my parents never forced me into any sort of activity and I chose baseball and I stuck with it. It's uh definitely my favorite sport by far. And tell me why that is. Why is this your favorite sport? Uh, I'd say just because me, obviously, I'm a pitcher. Um, and I'm not the most outgoing leadership type person. So I feel when I'm pitching, especially, I have sort of a bigger leadership role in a game. And that's sort of where I get my outlet of being able to contribute a lot. So I, I take pride in that. And a leadership role, throwing a knuckleball. I mean, tell us about that. Yeah, it's uh, something I've worked on since I was in the league, and it's gotten better. Could obviously still get better. It can always improve, but it's a lot of fun to throw. And you're a left-hander. I mean, that must really batters must really not know what to expect when uh, when you're pitching <laughs> a ball. Yeah, it, it definitely helps for sure. So I understand uh, your baseball dream, it began with a computer game. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, when I, I, I was five, I, for my birthday, a family friend got me backyard baseball. I think it's 2002. And I started playing it. I, I had really no idea what baseball was, I guess. But it was my favorite game. I would come home from school and play it all the time. And that's when I told my parents, so I want to get into baseball. You know, so you're the only you're the only young woman, right, to play in this particular league. So do you feel yeah. like a, what does that mean to you? Do you feel like a trailblazer? For sure, I do. I think it opens up a lot of possibilities for other girls playing baseball. And no matter how I do, there's um, little girls there who will grow up, probably be even more skilled than I am, and hopefully will get a chance because of what I'm doing. So what's the reaction been to you? to you signing with the Victoria Harbor Cats, either from teammates uh, or just from people in the baseball community? Yeah, I mean, I, I told my own UBC softball teammates and my friends and family, and they all think it's awesome. Like, my dad's uncle is actually a season ticket holder at the Harbor Cats, so that's pretty cool. And um, I know a couple guys on the Harbor Cats team, so he seems excited. And uh, he played last year, so his friends on the team are also know about it, and uh, they seem to be fully supportive of it. So that's cool. Do you have some major league uh, mentors that you're uh, that have inspired you over the years? Yeah, I uh, I said um, Ichiro definitely is probably my favorite player of all time because I'm half Japanese and I grew mm -hmm. up right across the border from Seattle. So my family, we'd go down and see the Mariners play, and I'd watch him, and he's just so cool. Now, uh, we, we have a tweet from another knuck knuckleball pitcher, R.A. Dickey, about you. So we're just yeah. going to put that up on the screen. And this is what he wrote. Congrats, Claire. Knuckle up knuckleballer. First woman in West Coast League. So what do you think about that? Uh, it was awesome. I was actually, I was driving a... UBC when I got it my the media relations guy at UBC he told me about it and I I've been pretty calm about I'd say all the press that's going on but mm -hmm. that one left me shocked I was I thought that was awesome do you feel extra pressure because you're the only woman um 
I I feel some. I I don't know how much extra pressure I'd say I am feeling currently. I'm sure once I get closer to the time of me actually playing, I'll definitely be a little nervous, but I think it's all part of the game and I'm just I just want to go out there and do well as any other player would. And then finally, I just want to ask you about about your knuckleball pitch. How long did it take you to learn, and what do you think is is unique and special about it for you? Uh, I'd say it it it, it took about a a year or so to uh, really start to notice that it was more consistently working. Mm -hmm. um, I think obviously not many people can throw a knuckleball, so that. It's pretty special, and then as well, I'm not going to be the fastic, fastest thrower in the league. So having a lot of movement on my pitches will definitely help me out for sure. Claire, it was a real pleasure uh, talking to you. Congratulations again. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks for having me.